All right, welcome back. Today we're doing another um, M18 build. This one is a M18 12 amp hour. Again, I got it off AliExpress. Um, this is for the 2170 batteries. And I ordered up some of these. Samsung, yep, and our 21740Ts, either the 35 amp, I believe, yeah, 35 amp units, batteries. So I got this case, I like it pretty much. Um, couple issues, if you do one of these, um, it is nice because the, the cells are encapsulated, you know, with the whole, with the whole box. The only issue I'm having is... Not sure if you'll be able to see it, but right there is a crack. And two of these posts, and I, I wasn't using a machine or you know going crazy with it by hand. I really crept up on it real slow to tighten this down, and they cracked. They didn't crack when I was when I was uh, tightening it. Um, I basically put all the screws in here and was done. And I was kind of planning on, you know, what I was doing next with these and organizing those screws and reading the instructions. And I heard snap. And actually the, the battery kind of wobbled. Um, and I'm like, what the heck was that? And then I heard another one. It was like snap. So this one, get my big meat hooks out of there. This screw right here cracked somewhere in here and then the one i showed you on the back cracked so not sure about that i mean if you're going to do one of these i don't know if you know i'm thinking if i do another one i might try heating it with a heat gun um just warming the plastic up so it's a little more malleable before i sink the screws in there the other thing uh, i think i mentioned this in our other build um, they do, they do send you instructions and on these particular, this particular unit, they require you to solder these bridges in numerical order. Basically your cell taps, that's your main negative, that's B1, B2, B3, B4, and you got to do them in order. So... That's where I'm at right now. And the best way I've found to do this, because the problem is you can't just go, you can't go slapping all these on and putting them into pointer. You can't go slapping them all on and putting them all into their hole because obviously if you, if you lock these in, they're gonna touch that, the ring at some point. So they'll all be making contact or none of them will be making contact or some of them will be making contact. So what I'm doing is, is doing them one at a time in order. Um, and the easiest way to do it is to, you know, mount the board with the screw there. And there's one screw right in there. Go ahead and mount the board up firmly, get it all in place, and then put these in one at a time and just kind of, you know, go in and lock it up, push this down, and then make sure your aligning tabs, the lining tabs on here are going in. And then go spot weld it, and then I solder it. And then I move on to the next one. Um, this one does have mica, has the mica strip here. My only gripe on these is they have no adhesive back on them, so they're just kind of flopping around in here. Uh, and there's actually they actually do a mica under the negative too, which is nice. I like that. Um, so yeah, the only concern so far is the cracking screw holes, which is not cool. So anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. I'll bring you back when I have all the connection tins put in and kind of show you the final unit before we put it together. Okay, we're back. 
Got all that done. Got the cells all welded in. One correction. I told you about this instruction manual here, or instructions. It says solder these bridges in numerical order. I was assuming they were talking about the cell taps, but there's actually pads right there, right there, right next to the cell taps. There's pads. That's what you're gonna be soldering in order. I can only assume those make the connections between the cell taps and the rest of the BMS. Cause I mean, I did it and it's working. There's only, it's only 50% charged. I think this is only at 17 volts. So anyway, but yeah, that's the only thing you gotta make sure of apparently. Cause uh, according to the website, if you don't do this correctly, you'll pooch the BMS. Um, so anyways, we're back on to getting everything back together. All the soldering is done. One thing I did notice too late and that I don't like is I think I spoke in the other videos about how these things are. This is your fuse, this piece where the current flows and it next down to a narrower piece. Well, unfortunately, after I got this in and got it soldered, I looked and you you have the narrow piece here like on the other batteries. But this flat piece underneath it, I wish I'd have seen this, I would have trimmed this. It's actually making contact right here past this bridge. So it kind of negates that altogether. Like I said, I had already soldered all this. I had already soldered all the, or welded all the cell taps on, or cells on. And I saw that and I was like, God dang it. So technically there is no fuse. That's never going to blow because it's going to be making contact right there between this and the main positive. Um, stand by. I might have an idea for that. All right. What I did was get under here and pry that up. There is an air gap now. I don't know if that comes through or not. Anyway. If you do one of these or I do another one, I will, when this is out, I will cut with a pair of scissors. I'll leave this post here, but I'll cut here in and across right here and remove that piece. Anyway, so let's get this on, uh, go ahead and button up and uh, I'll bring you back when we get it all cased in. All right, we are back. And it is put together. Big old 12 amp hour. Uh, just a quick recap. I put the Samsung INR 21740Ts. Got enough to do two batteries. They weren't that bad. I think they were four, 460 a piece. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, kind of odd thing here. I'll turn the light off. The, when you press the button, I don't know if you can see that, but you can, you can barely see it. And actually it shows up, killed it with light. It shows up better on camera, really. You can see it better than me. That actually shows up way better on camera than it does in person. For me to look at it brightly, I have to look at it from this way. In other words, like that, and it shows up really bright. Um, but yeah, it's all done. Heavy sucker, man. You wouldn't want to hang on that on a drill for very long. Um, but yeah, that's the. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where I got this. All in all, it's pretty good. I didn't like the cracks on the battery holders. Everything else went together really good. Um, the lock seems to work good. It does charge. I plopped it on the charger here um, just a second ago, off camera. Uh, 
all the stickers are in there. This one does have the bolts. Put the lights back on. This one does have the bolts in the bottom to hold the battery in place internally, which I like personally. That way you don't get chunk chunk chunk, you know, cells aren't moving around in there. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty good battery. Like I said, 12 amp, amp hours, that's a beast. Um, I don't have the other one here. I did, I did a nine amp hour. And uh, it, those were recycled cells. And it, when I tested it on the load tester, it came out at 8.6, 8.7 amp hours. So can't complain about that. And those were matched. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And I'll talk to you later.